What's up, you guys? This is some guy for bringing you episode 12, if I remember. And as I promised you, I would get me a cave episode. So, here we go. Let me put some lights here. Ah, it was it was pretty funny because how I found this cave it wasn't that uh basically uh, like I found it. I just ended up falling inside it. So I think that's pretty funny. Um, as you can see, I have not explored this cave at all. I left it untouched. So far, it's been nice. I've been finding some good stuff. And as for that little squeaking sound on my last two videos, I have no clue what's making it. Might be my um, my fan from uh, my computer. Uh, but I'm not sure, you guys. I'm trying to see what it could be. Uh, that's something I'm working on. Um, let's see, what else can I do? Some more lights. Fail. There we go. Put one there. Get some more mining stuff. Some resources. Um, so yeah. I don't know what to talk about this episode. Uh, I'm pretty happy for anybody that like I watch a lot of anime. For anybody that watches the anime, I watched uh, basically uh, one of my top number one favorite anime. The one that actually got me into anime was me watching uh, To Love Rue. For any of those who've watched them or watched it, they only have one season on its um, in its life uh, for the anime show. Uh, Magna, I think it was. I don't know how many seasons. I don't really like to read. That's one of my downsides. I cannot stand reading at all. Um, back in high school, uh, it took me what, like one of my favorite stories is uh, it took me two years just to read 65 pages, and I was actually enjoying the book. Um, so that's kind of like shows how much I hate reading. But it took me two freaking years just to read. 65 pages on a book I was excited about reading like it was like about dragons the dragons uh, it was before the movie Aragon came out I was actually reading the book Aragon and you know I was, I was loving the dragons and all that action stuff but sadly it just it wasn't meant for me I guess to read books so I ended up not reading the whole thing pretty bummed about that, um, but, uh, yeah, oh yeah, I was back to the anime, um, so, like, I think a couple days ago, like, three days ago, I saw it, uh, probably, a, like, new season or something, I was reading the brief about it, uh, it's, it's a new to love Rue uh, season, I'm guessing, or an OVA, I'm probably thinking the season, which, um, is a uh, motto to love Rue. So I'm pretty excited to watching that episode after I finish this recording. It finally got subbed. I I'm not a Chinese or Asian, no no disrespecting any of them. I do love the Asian culture. Um, but I I can you know I haven't had the time to go and like study Japanese, something I would go. I would love to visit Jap Japan one time, at least one time in my lifetime. So that's a trip I'm looking forward to one day in my life. So, hope I can do that pretty soon. The sooner the better. Alright, so, um, so I'm pretty excited about this second season for uh, To Love Rue, but um, so far I've looked, in I looked at it. Like, it doesn't look, you know, too bad, but... I was looking at some of the, you know, the ratings that they put out for like regular people that they have on the shows, and I was pretty disappointed that I saw a three star when it usually gets like a five star for the regular seasons. It usually got five stars. It was rare when it got below like a four and a half. So that's pretty disappointing. So I'm guessing it did not meet up to the expectations. Uh, and I was talking about the brief as well that um. And when I was reading, like, the little brief about it, and what the show is about, 
I was basically saying the uh, like more detailed about their lives. So that right away tells you it's they just made it up because just another show that they made up for more publicity or you know to sell their stuff more. Um, so I was kind of disappointed. And with the three stars, I'm kind of more disappointed now. I really wish they would have brought a second season for it. Because I remember, uh, I don't remember, I can't forget when was it, like a couple of months ago? It was a couple of months ago where they announced that they would stop writing the Magna for it. So, I never read the Magna. Like, I tried to. I, like I said, I can't stand reading at all. And for, and I also can't repeat stuff, so like watching this, like I don't know, like reading the episodes that I already watched was kind of like really, like I don't know, I just couldn't stand it. Like I needed to get out of there because it it just wasn't my style. So I was just really disappointed on that myself, basically, that I didn't manage to read there. So I was pretty disappointed there. Um, Oh, what else? Uh, so, you know, like, I still want to watch it. It's my number one anime that I've, you know, anybody that knows me will tell you that To Love Rue has been my favorite anime. Uh, it's just, for me, that's what got me into anime. Really made me stick to the computers. And as you can see, this is, or else I wouldn't be here on the computers if it wasn't for To Love Rue. So I really owe them one for having such a great anime. But I'm really disappointed that it's not getting that much good reviews as it used as it used to. So I don't know. I just finished a new anime today, which was called uh, Okusama um, Okusama Wa something. There's like two of them. Okusama wa Mojo Mahao uh, sh Shonen or something like that. It's basically from like, I forget which year, 2004 or, or 2000 or 95, one of those years. I, I forget. I was looking through a bunch of animes to watch. And I'm coming through this one. Um, not that bad, I guess. You know, it, Kept me entertained. I haven't watched that kind of style. Oh, and I fell on my f oh, shit. And I wasn't paying attention. I forgot about the ground. So I'm surprised I haven't seen the monsters. Let me see. Hard, yeah. Uh, basically, um, haven't watched a decent, a decent anime. Like I watched the like. The one anime I think I haven't watched, I was talking to somebody that really enjoys uh, uh, mystery, so they were wa they watched Detective Conan, and I know a lot of people watch it. It's a real good anime, I guess, but it's just one of those things that doesn't look like my style, and I don't want to watch it just because um, cause I, I feel like it's going to be a waste of my time. It's not really that, you know, interests me that much but a lot of people like it, so that's why it's in like 400 episodes or something. Not really sure, don't pay attention to that anime. But, um... But yeah, watching uh, anime is one of the big things. I just can't remember names for my... for, like, the... Oh, what, oh my god, I forgot that cop, that saying. For... <sighs> Even in, like even my life depended on it, I cannot name the and all the anime shows that I watched. I have ep see uh, shows that uh, seasons and whatever they're called. The ones that I've completed, I've completed like almost 140 of them, and I'm watching a bunch of them. I'm trying to get in to see which new the new seasons that just came out. I'm trying to see which ones are good, are good. So I'm gonna be checking them out pretty soon. If anybody has any recommendations of which ones are really good. And there's a skeleton. Let's go. Where is he? Where is he? Ah, uh, he's down there. I see him. I see him. I'm gonna try to get him before he gets me. Oh, oh shit. 
fuck yeah. Let's see, how do I basically trap him there? Alright, that should do it. Then let's see if I can work with it. Get back. Sneak. There we go. And he didn't drop nothing in the dirt bag. Whatever. Um. If anybody has any re new recommendations of stuff, I'll probably post my link of my anime list that I've probably watched. So you guys can see what I've watched. I don't rate them that much. I was rating like the first few when I started my list, but it just kind of got pointless to me. So I don't rate them. But, um, like, there's only a few that I wish I never saw and that I've seen. Uh, there's only a few that I regret seeing because they were either super boring or it's just that type of genre where they're they like the one genre I can't stand for the love of God even though it's comedy too is that uh, I don't know what what's it called but uh, it's basically the brother and sister love where they fall for each other that's the one enemy I cannot stand for the love of God it, like it pisses me off even though it's comedy, yes, it's funny sometimes. But just, I can't stand, like at first it's all comedy, yeah, everybody's laughing, ha ha ha. But then after it just gets really annoying with, basically with them and how it rolls, like the whole thing goes by. It's just, I don't know, I can't, I can't stand it. it pisses me, the one thing that pisses me off is that. And I let it fall down. I don't want to grab the next one. Yeah, it's gonna fall too. Um, I don't know how long I've been recording for. Um, all right, yeah, you guys are gonna have a weird transaction after that. Um, basically what I found out is I am 13 minutes in. I got it. And then while I was checking for the time to see how long the videos was, I realized that. I'm running out of torches. Well, yeah, I can make more torches, more pickaxe, but I'm gonna make a trip up top. I got 30 iron with me, not bad. 264 piles of coal, so that's not bad. So I might as well just go up for the remaining of the time and then deposit this. And because I, well, I was doing this, I was like, oh my god. But well, basically when I was checking the time I was like, oh my god, I do not remember how to get out or how I came in. So for these next couple seconds, I'm probably going to try and find my way out. And I, it's because, yeah, I remember watching when I was, I used to watch the uh, Minecraft videos and people would go exploring caves, I would be like, yeah, oh my god, you don't remember how you got out? You were just there like a couple seconds ago, you are just going in circles, but I guess doing this now is like, like while you're trying to commentate, you can't concentrate on both things right now, and I could use a compass right now, so that could also help me big time, but I have not found rest zones, so... That's something that has to wait, I guess. And whoops, almost fell. And then, so all I know that I keep that the one thing that I can recommend to everybody is always try to go up, never go down. Because I've seen people when they're exploring caves and they're trying to find their way back out. For some reason, they always end up going back down. So that's one thing that probably they could fix by themselves but as you can see I am totally lost now I'm just going in a little circle and I don't want to go there because I know I didn't go there because there's no torches so there's a possibility that it's over there somewhere so let's go and try to get back up here and I am running out of time I know that uh, I see some lights 
do I really want to go over there and check it out? That's dark there. Ah, let's check it out. Uh, I'm running out of time, so I'll probably just come back later some other time and finish this place off. Alright, next episode, you guys. Stay tuned, and I'll see you guys next episode later.